What's up everybody, it's the Allspring and this is Farming Simulator 2015 mods and today we have an awesome, awesome mod showcase for you guys. We have uh, this uh, uh, 80's style uh, Chevy Dually, we have a 90's Dually Chevy, we have this big mud truck right here, um, we have this GMC Dually hooked up to the Eager Beaver, this thing's awesome, GMC 3500, 90's uh, extended cab. But uh, I noticed uh, the bed doesn't look like it needs to be a little bit longer because the bed doesn't look like a uh, an 8 foot bed because uh, the red one kind of looks bigger or the single caps look bigger. Um, but that's a notorious thing, you know, as far as scaling goes and, and farming simulator. So, but yeah, we have this eager beaver right here with the dual gates. That's going to be in our newest uh, landscaping video, which is going to be awesome. I cannot wait. So we got to get some mowers so we can test out the uh, eager beaver. Um, shout out to Replay. Um, but yeah, we got the push mower right there. We got the X mark. Um, I don't know why I have two craftsmen. That's kind of weird. But um, yeah, I just noticed that. Um, but yeah, uh, ch check it out. Uh, let's see what else uh, should we get. No, 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 no. Yeah, but I, I wish this push mower would uh, be a lot better because uh, I wish there was like an NPC or something around it. You know, that, that would work out a lot better um, versus, you know, the thing just pretty much sliding around and cutting. But um, uh, this trailer is going to be part of our newest mowing setup. I, I don't know yet what truck I should use. I'm thinking about customizing a truck and putting some like uh, ladder racks or pipe racks, whatever you call it in your area. We call it pipe racks because... Uh, you know, I grew up uh, doing tube system work with my family, and uh, we always called them pipe racks because we put pipes on them. Um, but a lot of people call them ladder racks, and it's kind of utility racks, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, um, for some reason, both gates, uh, both ramps aren't going down. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, shout out to ATF, um, James Hall, and all them very, very talented guys. It's crazy how like some of their stuff comes from SketchUp, and it's and it doesn't even look like it because it, they, they did ma massive 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 uh, amounts of uh, blender work on it but uh yeah check it out pretty cool i like it i love the eager beaver i just you know on the the stock eager, eager beaver it never really came with a locking script which kind of sucked but uh yeah we have uh this uh also we got this custom mod version of this f-150 right here um a custom semi truck along with um a 90s uh, Chevy 2500 made by Duramax and I mean not Duramax I'm sorry Blake McLean and uh, Blake McLean he, he he's a really good guy uh, I picked up both Blake McLean and Duramax that's why I got him um, uh, confused I picked up both him and Duramax uh, when they had like I don't even know if they, they didn't they didn't even have YouTube channels when I picked them up or Blake had like maybe like one sub and stuff and I promoted the crap out of them really good guys um, I'm glad to see that they're doing their own thing and uh, they're doing it good so um, very proud of them you know, it's kind of like I, I nurtured them and whatnot it's like seeing their wings fly you know what I mean they're, they're they, they grew their wings and now they're flying away from the nest so I'm, I'm very happy for them and uh, but yeah let's go test it out dang this thing's got a, a top speed of 152 miles an hour and it sounds like it has an old 5.7 engine gasoline engine in it I'm probably gonna take the sounds from um, Blake McLean's 2500 that we're about to look at the red one uh, he ha he hit the the sound spot on on that truck but yeah check this sucker out here's the interior it's got the early 90s interior in it with the weird seat belts in the back huh but uh, yeah, check this sucker out. I kind of like the rims. Uh, they, they, I didn't really like them, but now they're growing on me. But yeah, very very nice rig. Um, you never know. I might I might you know customize this truck because I had a uh, old 6.5. I've just I've owned just about every freaking diesel because you know I, I love all the diesels and whatnot. And uh, whoa, hello. Had a little freeze frame right there. But uh, yeah, I've owned just about every single diesel there is. And uh, I like them, you know what I mean? I, I, I like them a lot, and, um, whatchamacallit, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. But yeah, check out the grill. Man, the grill is freaking nice on this thing. I really like it. The lights. Yeah, he must have did a lot of blender work on that sucker right there. I'm trying to see. Okay. Here's the big mudding truck right here, old Silverado, old Silverado. Got the dual stacks. Look at the friggin' uh, uh, lady mud flaps. I wish I had those fat lady mud flaps. I love seeing those. Friggin' trolling. 
But yeah, let's test this sucker out. It's got another top speed of 152 miles an hour. This thing is a freaking jet engine. I can see this thing having a 5.7 because most mud trucks, uh, you know, Chevy mud trucks at least, have those 5.7 crate motors in them, uh, which are really, really good motors, believe it or not. Like, I was with my friend and he had like a farm truck 5.7, but the thing was like souped up in the engine department and he freaking smoked an LS1 Corvette, which was freaking insane. <laughs> like a Chevy 1500 smoking a bed, like golly. But yeah, this thing looks nice. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. My little dog Bella, my uh, German Shepherd, she is licking me right now. What do you want, Belja? But yeah, check out the KC lights on it. All the KC lights and everything work. I wish it had. Um, I'm probably gonna put some. Uh, what you gonna call it? Uh, strobes on it because I think that'd be cool. Be flasher dasher, man. Yeah, um, I'm friends with this guy on Snapchat, and, uh, this truck reminds me of his truck. I think he's got an 83. But yeah, let's, uh, I, I say we should get a ramp. Here we go. Set this ramp and do a Travis Pastrana, Brian Deegan, 360, no scope, triple XXX, Brian Deegan, metal militia, MW2, quick scope, hard scope, ramp going a thousand million trillion sextillion miles an hour. It's gonna be intense, guys. Just wait for this. Ready? Ready? Nitrous on. Boost on. Tire pressure equalizers. And now we are off. Jesus Christ, mate. We just hit a freaking $60 million freaking kilometer ramp right there. Oh my god, the ramp is like floating. Jesus, we must call Ghostbusters. Look at that stance, guys. I'm gonna do that typical like stance thing. Check out my stance, guys. I'm gonna climb up while like a like a parking uh one of those parking things, and I'm gonna be like, check out my stance, man. It's like cool, dude. You gotta lift the truck just like everybody else. Nice, nice. As somebody asked me today, like, oh, should dude, uh, should I uh should I buy diesel? I got like uh seven thousand dollars, and I'm like, to be honest with you, man. You need to uh, save up at least 10 grand for a decent diesel. And I was like, what are you going to do with the diesel? And they're just like, I just want a big vehicle. It's like, oh man, well, just get a freaking SUV, bud. I mean, you shouldn't be buying a diesel if you just want a big old vehicle. But yeah, check out this old A it is Chevy right here. I like the sucker right here. Dually, it's got the uh, gasoline engine. And also, also, you see in the back, uh, these old Suburbans and stuff. And, um,. Silverados, um, even if it was a diesel or a gasoline uh, vehicle, uh, the, these old 80s ones, all they always came stock with dual exhausts, and it's so funny. Like, like even the, this sound for this truck is like pretty spot on there. The, the gas sound that, blub, 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 blub. but uh, yeah, even the uh, we have two. Um, we have an 88 Suburban 6.2 Banks, fully freaking built uh, Suburban diesel, and we also have a parts truck, a uh, 86 Suburban diesel that blew up. Oh man, this thing friggin' flies. Whoa, look at that friggin' sunshade right there. It looks like those things that friggin' people, like, bring out on the beach and, like, catch the rays, catch the tans, but I can't tan because I'm, uh, I'm pretty of the pales varieties. So, tanning is just a no-go with Peyton right now. Especially because I'll get the skins of the cancers. But yeah, this thing is pretty fast and pretty awesome. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Handling does pretty good on it as well. Oh, shoot. We just did a drifter. Did a Japanese freaking Fast and Furious drift right there. Hold on to your seats, baby, because this one's a screamer. But yeah, check out that F-150. I love these new body style F-150s, you know what I mean? Um, the, the, the newest generations of the F-150. I think they look good. I think they look heavy duty compared to all the other um, competitors' trucks, the 1500 Dodges and the 1500 Chevys. Although, the um, 2017 Super Duties do not like. I wish they would have just kept that freaking body style that they had post-2012 and just updated it because if you really think about it, 99 to, uh, whatchamacallit, 2015, um, 
the Super Duty trucks look pretty much the same, give or take, you know, some small aesthetic changes and some bells and whistle changes, you know, to uh, to keep up with the technological advances in the vehicles. But, um, I, I, man, I, I can tell you straight up, I do not at all like the body styles of uh, the post-2017, pretty much the new body style of the Super Duty. I just don't like it. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I've been a fan of the Super Duty body style and body and look since I was a kid and uh, you know ever since 99 to 2016 I always thought that the Super Duties looked the most heavy duty of all the heavy duty pickup trucks in its class I'm not saying that it is but it just looks like it and uh, that's why I've always liked them but I I do like the F-150 body style don't get me wrong the new F-150 is really nice but uh, yeah, I just I don't really care for the new the new Super Duty body style. Tell me, you guys, in the comments, what do you guys think of the new Super Duty body style? Because preferably, I don't really care for it. But that's just me. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm about to show you um, because I just I, I'm just not really feeling it. And uh, I know probably nobody from Ford is listening to me in my video, but if they are, bros. You should, uh, you should definitely go back to the old friggin' body style. Just saying. Just saying. But yeah, this thing is customized. This F-150 right here. Hmm. What's going on here? But yeah, um, another thing I was trying to think of, um, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, but, uh, I'm about to show you guys what I'm talking about as far as the uh, the new body styles look like but yeah we got this um this 88 Suburban right here um, that I was talking about and uh, yeah we have one and uh, I like I like it you know I like ours but uh, check this out this is the body style I'm talking about right here the one that's the that's the new one right here the 17 and I don't really like it but I wish they kept this one right here that body style the one in the picture right here the white one because uh, I like it, and uh, but I just don't really care for the new one. So, tell me, I mean, how do you guys think on it? And uh, while you're down there in the comment section below, please give me a big like and a comment. And if you guys can donate, uh, donations is on the homepage of the channel. But uh, yeah, um, let's get out here and uh, go do the uh, suburban. But yeah, check out this. It reminds me of the uh, Sun Coast or um, not Sun Coast. Um, shoot, what was the name of it? Um, there was just like this version of that makes it two ton. Oh yeah, it is. There it is a Scottsdale. That's what I meant, Scottsdale. Yeah, because um, when I went to the junkyard, I was seeing uh, a bunch of different variation models of uh, the suburban and uh, the two tone like this is uh, called the Scottsdale, and they have other models as well. Um, it's just pretty much package, you know, um, like how they have the King Ranch and whatnot. I mean, how do you guys think on it? And uh, while you're down there in the comment section below, please give me a big like and a comment. And if you guys can do donate, uh, donations is on the homepage of the channel. But uh, yeah, um, let's get out here and uh, go do the uh, suburban. But yeah, check out this. It reminds me of the uh, Sun Coast or um, not Sun Coast. Um, shoot, what was the name of it? Um, there was just like this version of that makes it two ton. Oh yeah, it is. There it is uh, Scottsdale. That's what I meant, Scottsdale. Yeah, because um. When I went to the junkyard, I was seeing uh, a bunch of different variation models of uh, the Suburban and uh, the two-tone like this is uh, called the Scottsdale and they have other models as well. Um, it's just pretty much package, you know, um, like how they have the King Ranch and whatnot. Yeah, this thing flies too. It goes at top speed of freaking 152 miles per hour. I like it. I like this Suburban. I'm definitely going to put it to work uh, doing something. I can't, I don't know what I should do. But uh, I'm probably going to customize the sound and put a uh, 6.2 liter Detroit in it. And uh, maybe change the rims and tires. Keep the stock version, but, you know, make a customized version. Oh, uh, speaking of customized versions, um, I've been seeing a lot of 6. 
uh, F650 versions going around, and I'm glad you guys like the F650, and like I said, it's already been leaked, so I don't really care if people edit it or anything or upload it because it's already been stolen, so I don't really care about that, um, but, um, if any of you guys can do me a big friggin' favor, can anybody, um, lift the, uh, Ford Bronco and, uh, customize it for Payton? That'd be awesome. I would like it a lot if you did that. Um, and if you know what I'm talking about, uh, it's a, a Bronco I've showed in multiple videos before. Um, I believe I had it on the Pleasant Valley Rivers map, so that's the one I'm talking about. And, uh, but yeah, we have this 1966 Chevy C10. Uh, sucker's nice, but it ghost rides. Uh, it doesn't have an NPC on it, but other than that, it looks friggin' awesome. And, uh, it's a nice show truck, so maybe, uh, next hauling video we'll be hauling some custom, uh, and, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, nice custom trucks and old classic vehicles as well. Maybe some race vehicles, because you guys love the um, hauling to the race uh, race track and doing races and all stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I like it. And uh, tell me what you guys think about it. But yeah, as you can see, um, I think I don't know. I I'm, I don't really like this semi truck to be honest with you. I'm just gonna tell you guys that just now because just. The way it drives and looks, it just looks like it just did not have a lot of work on it. And the interior camera on it is shot A. Let me check. I was going to think about um, getting this a trailer. Hmm. Man, I really want to make a pickup truck camper really freaking bad. Yeah, look how freaking shoddy this freaking interior is, man. I really don't like it. Not very much. Yeah, so we're not really going to go into much detail on this thing. Um, we're going to go straight to this guy right here. But listen to the sound, guys, in this thing. Sounds like a 6.5. Good job, Blake McLean. McLean modding, whatever you call yourself now, but you're freaking awesome, and I like you a lot, and uh, one thing I think that this truck does need, it looks like it needs to be wider, it kind of looks smushed, but um, I like the look, Blake has this like, he's got this like, his style, like, uh, look at the interior, beautiful, beautiful, but yeah, Blake has this style to his mods, which I really like, it's got like this realism kind of style, but like kind of rigs of Roddy. Uh, it's hard to explain, but he's got this style, and I really enjoy it. And I'm glad he's flapping his little birdie wings and uh, and doing so great. But yeah, you could see it kind of looks like it needs to. But he has the GMC Sierra 1500, and it's even got the uh, original rims that come on it, the old weird ugly rims. But yeah, as you can see right here, it looks like it does need to be wadded. But um, that's going to be about it. Uh, guys, I'm going to stop talking right now, and you guys can just enjoy the rest of the video. Um, please give me a big like and a comment on this video if you enjoyed this video. And please um, tell me down in the comments, what guys do you think I should do in the next video? Um, you guys told me to do my showcase for this video, and you also guys told me to do, um, for the next video, I'm going to be doing some landscaping and um, some farm work. Um, and tree removal. Um, I'm probably just going to do landscape and tree removal for the next video, but um, but yeah, I'm just going to organize these while you, you guys finish up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Um, some farm work um, and tree removal. Um, I'm probably just going to do landscape and tree removal for the next video, but um, but yeah, I'm just going to organize these while you, you guys finish up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Later.